Hi friends, so this video shows how to unlock VMware uh, workstation prior to install macOS uh, guest virtual machine. So here you can see here I am using VMware workstation 15 player. So this is a build 15.0.2. So when you install this VMware workstation player, so initially this um, macOS operating system option and its version option will not be there. So you have to bring it. So for that, uh, you have to patch VMware workstation. So there is a unlocker tool. So you can use that unlocker tool to patch the VMware workstation. So if you want to find the unlocker tool, just search for VMware unlocker. Just Google it. Then you would see this uh, GitHub URL. Click on that. Then go to releases. So there you would see the workstation and locker. So different versions are there. So if you go to this unlocker folder and just scroll down so there basically you can see here how to unlock and which uh, unlocker version you have to use to unlock a particular workstation for example here you can see so unlocker version 3 has been tested against workstation uh, 11, 12, 14 and 15 and workstation player 7, 12, 14, 15 on Windows and Linux. So you just read and you will find which version of unlocker you have to use to unlock your VMware workstation or workstation player. So in my case, so I am using this VMware workstation player 15.02. So in my case, this unlocker, unlocker 3.0.1. So this worked. So basically, three dot three dot zero dot one. Actually, I downloaded from here. So this unlocker has worked for me. So first, you have to install this uh, VMware play works uh, workstation player. So after the installation, just enter this. Uh, and set this um, unlocker so when you unzip the unlocker so basically you will get uh, these files so here the main file is this win-install so this is the main file just right click it then set run as administrator then click on yes so I already executed this so I am going to select no so you have to select yes let me select no so you have to run this script so if you want to see what this script is doing just go to the github and there you will see you can see when you run this win install script, basically it patch, patches VMware. So if you want to restore, you can run this win hyphen uninstall. So here you can see win hyphen uninstall here. Okay. Then there is one more script. It's called uh, win update tools. So that basically retrieves latest macOS guest tools. So 
So that should we can see here. Okay. So yeah, just to run this script, we need hyphen install. So after the execution of that script, we can see the change in uh, VMware workstation. For example, just go to the VMware workstation and select create new virtual machine. Then click this option, I will install local system later. Then click on next. So here we can see the new option, this option, uh, Apple Mac OS X. So this, OS, this, uh, this option you will get only when you execute the unlocker. So this is what unlocker is adding in your VMware workstation. This is the one option when you select this um, operating system Apple Mac OS X here you will get the versions so we can see a lot of versions here so based on what you what version of Mac OS you are going to install you have to select the version here so this is very important so if you select wrong version so you are you will see the boot issue something like your virtual machine will be in boot loop it's continuously rebooting so that is because you have selected a wrong version here or wrong upper system here that is the issue so you have to you will be you should be careful so I will show you the so here I have successfully installed macOS Mojave in VMware workstation so you can see macOS Mojave here so let me uh, just I am going to open this VM settings you can see the memory 6GB processor 2 so these options are disabled then hard disk you can see the VMDK file here 40 17 GB then network I am using a NAT USB controller sound display okay so let me go to the options so here basically you can see if you select general here you can see the operating system which you selected so you just can you have to verify if you are facing this reboot issue or boot loop issue you have to check this part in options general and make sure that this apple apple mac os x upper system are selected and and corresponding version in this field mm. okay that's all so this way we can patch uh, VMware workstation to install macOS test so please try this and if you are facing any issue please comment I will help you so please subscribe my channel please like and share the video